Hello, how are you today? Uh, in this project I'm using the Tigo T display board and this rotary encoder to control speed of this PC fan. These fans can be found in all computers, they are cheap and in this case I'm using three wires model. I'm controlling speed with pulse width uh, modulation and I'm using I don't can you see it here I'm using here it is a MOSFET as switch yellow wire is uh, used to uh, calculate uh, revolu uh, revolution per minute I will talk about uh, pulse width modulation and uh, RPM later, but first, probably most interesting part of this project is this cool looking gauge. few days ago I find this popular video and uh, immediately I wanted to make something something similar because this design looks great if you want to learn how to make this uh, or to learn uh, the concept of making this on this channel you can find a very detailed tutorial this channel is quite new, but it features quality content and it is very popular. I highly recommend subscribing. I al already learned a lot from it. Uh, owner of Uper channel is a nice guy and he gave me permission to steal his idea or design. <clears throat> He's using uh, an Arduino and OLED display and my weapon of choice is ESP32 and TFT display. Uh, right now this board controls the speed of PC, PC fan but in, it can uh, control uh, any device that can be controlled using pulse width modulation like I can for example change brightness of lights or something similar. Uh, in uh, original video potentiometer is used to change value on this uh, gauge uh, but I decided to use rotary encoder uh, here is rotary encoder and it looks like similar to potentiometer but they work quite different. Uh, potentiometer have um, start and end position and I can rotate this rotary encoder continuously. That is the main uh, difference. By uh, rotating this shaft uh, we are producing pulses on these two pins and pulses are counted by microcontroller. And of course microcontroller will also know uh, direction of rotating. Rotary encoder usually have three pins. Uh, middle one needs to be connected to the ground and first and third are connected directly to pins on ESP32 or Arduino. In this case I'm using pins 17 and 15. This encoder have also built-in push button. I'm using that push button to sorry To turn on to turn on and off my fan and these pins are used to connect push 
button. One pin is connected to ground and this one is connected in this case to pin 30. Here is connection diagram so you can uh, see it much better here. If you don't have a rotary encoder, you can use your old unused mouse. Because this mouse wheel is also rotary encoder. Inside you will find also three pins. Middle one, middle one is ground and these two are connected to pins 17 and 50 and there is still one unused wire you can use for for example for this push button and now we can use PC mouse as controller cool idea for some projects and if you don't have old PC mouse you can still try this sketch because you can set value using this built-in push buttons. Code is in the description, feel free to check it, to use it, to play with it. In the description you can find more useful uh, links, part list, uh, connection diagram and so on. If you are first time here, please don't forget to subscribe if you want. You can buy me a coffee, link is in the description and that's probably it. I hope you learned something today, I hope you will use my code and I hope you will have a nice day. Cheers.